Well, many people in Taft are coming together this weekend to show support for the victim in this shooting. It's one of several events planned to help family and classmates heal from this tragic event. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is in studio with more on how the community is staying strong. Carlos? Kim, we're learning the teenage victim isn't just a student at Taft High School, but a coach in a community basketball league. Tonight, players are honoring him with the game that's become so dear to their hearts. It's a place many people in Taft are coming to heal. And it's the spot one of the victims of the Taft High School shooting spent most of his time. He's a great kid. He's on the morning announcements, and we just love watching him on the bulletin each morning. He's got a great sense of humor. Leaders with the Westside Recreational Center say the teen is an avid basketball player and has been coaching 6th and 7th graders for quite some time. They say many in the community are still shocked over the high school shooting. It was just a situation where uh, the kids were frightened, my students were frightened. We just helped try to support one another uh, because uh, everybody was so scared. We just all feel like we need to hang together uh, until, until he gets back and uh, it makes all of us a little stronger. Stephen G is a friend of the victim and also plays basketball with him regularly. He's a good guy. He's always funny, fun to be around. G was in the very same room when the alleged shooter walked in. It's an image many in this small community are trying to forget. It's tough right now. It's tough. I think, I think we have a lot of strong people in TAP, so I think we'll be able to move on. Besides basketball, people are also writing personal messages and signing posters for the victim. I think he shouldn't have got hurt for him because uh, he didn't do anything. Organizers say the basketball clinic is just one of the ways the community can come together to show support for a person loved by so many. If we can do things that we like, in a way it kind of helps us feel a little closer to him and um, helps with our recovery process too. And many of the shooting victims' classmates from Taft High School plan on attending tonight's Condors meeting in Bakersfield, holding posters and pictures of him in the stand. In the studio, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC.